So then, in my opinion, this year really is looking like it is going to be an incredible year for Thorpe Park and also looks like it is setting the standard for the future of the park. And in this video, I'm going to go through all the most prominent changes that I can find being made that will improve the park we all know and love. So then, first up, I think it makes sense to start on something that we all know and has been announced already, and that is the brand new logo. And love it or hate it, this logo has been announced by the park as not just a logo, and they even said in the announcements and everything that they want this logo to carry the park into a new era and shape this new era for the park as it will go alongside it. And that is one of the reasons why I thought I need to make this video because all these changes being made just for this season alone, I think really does show that the park means business and it is really looking to be incredible. So now I'll go on to things which, although have been announced and we can all see they're underway, we haven't seen yet in person and we'll be able to see when we visit the park this year in the 2024 season. So then I do just want to stress all the things in this video have been found through Thought Park Socials and through their YouTube channel where they've obviously documented a lot of what has been going on and um, I definitely recommend going and checking it out because I'm barely scratching the surface in this video of the changes we're going to see next year and it really is worth going and checking out because they're doing some amazing things. So then I'll start off with Project Sparkle which is something which isn't just happening at Thorpe Park and is a Merlin project which is happening at a number of parks which is essentially a project to look at existing attractions and everything around their parks and give them a bit of TLC, give them a lick of paint or bring them up to their former glory to make sure that they are maintaining the parks and not not leaving things to sort of weather over time. So then, first up, Colossus is getting a fresh lick of paint, which is looking incredible already from what you can see on their um, socials and everything. They said, I'm pretty sure they're painting half of the ride over this close season, a name to complete it over following close seasons when they can actually get to the ride to paint it. And it's great to see, because it is the first major coaster with inversions that I can really think of at the park. So it is something which really does deserve this TLC and is looking great, because I really, from my years of visiting the park, I've never seen it with its vibrant original colours because obviously although it will be the same colours the paint has aged and has weared where it naturally would and weathered over the years that it's operated so it looks amazing to just see it pop and be that vibrant again because obviously with a ride that vibrant it just makes it look so much better and really will give it a new lease of life in my opinion. As well as that Vortex and Rush are getting a fresh lick of paint again in the same colour schemes but giving it a lick of paint making them look more vibrant as again they have been at the park for quite a few years they're going to weather and the paint will fade it's great to see that they're giving these rides a fresh stick of paint really will help them stand out again amongst the other flat rides at the park. And after that, one of the most exciting rides to see painted is Samurai. Now this is because this isn't just being repainted like the other rides with their original colour schemes. This ride is being painted with its really, really original colour scheme before it was even at Thorpe Park, with it going back to being black and red, which, wow, I am so excited to see this. For my years of visiting Thorpe Park, I've never actually seen Samurai in its proper original colours, because at Thorpe Park it's had the blue elements to it. I think it looks so much cooler with the black and red as well so it will be great to see and it will also now fit into the area next to Saw a bit better because it will fit in with the colours of Saw. Cannot wait to see it. I think it's going to also really bring out the sort of sinister edge that Samurai has without it being like bright blue. It's going to look a lot more foreboding with the red merging with it. I think it's going to look incredible so I cannot wait to see that. As well as that a few like buildings are getting a fresh stick of paint around the park with one of the most prominent being Stealth's Station and Photo Kiosk which again although it's not building something new you're giving it a fresh stick of paint you're rejuvenating it, it makes it look newer and just stand out better, which is great to see. As well as this, Colossus will be getting a brand new control system for the 2024 season, which will really help with giving this ride a new lease of life, because not only will it look more vibrant now, the dispatches will be a lot more efficient because it will be a more modern control system, which you can't really complain at. Something which I think is quite fundamental for parks, which can go at quite overlooked at times, is the dispatch times for the rides, because the quicker you dispatch the trains, the quicker the queue moves, the more ride people getting in the day and the more likely they are to want to visit again which having the trains dispatching that bit faster means the queue will move that bit faster so brilliant to see that as well as this colossus and stealth i know are getting one because i've heard it in the announcement videos and everything i'm not sure about other rides they might be i just don't know i don't want to say about that because i don't know so they might not be but colossus and stealth for certain will be getting pre-loading screens which are essentially like i'm sure many of you watching will have visited parks with them universal uses them quite a lot to speed up dispatches and many other parks do around the world and is basically towards the end of the queue you'll have a screen showing the boarding process of the ride showing you how to buckle your seat belt when to pull down on the harness and everything just meaning that the guests will be ready when sitting on the train to 
speed up the dispatches by pulling on the harness and securing the seat belts so that the ride team will be put under less pressure, meaning that trains again can dispatch faster, which with Colossus getting a brand new control system and these screens, we could really be seeing some very efficient dispatches here for the rides at Thor Park and especially Colossus. And it's really great to see that the park is looking into that side of things as well, not just appearance of rides, but the efficiency of them as well. After that, we'll jump over to Tidal Wave, which Tidal Wave will be getting a brand new exit bridge, the bridge obviously you exit across when leaving the ride, which is perfectly understandable. That bridge has taken a literal tidal wave of water hitting it that hundreds of times a day, every day for years and years and years, which is great to see. I know it's something which a lot of people sort of go, meh, why does it matter? But it's great to see that they're considering that this bridge has taken a few batterings over the years with literal, I think it's something like so many bathtubs of water gets dumped on you on tidal wave, that then smacks into the bridge. It's taken a few beatings over the years. So it's great to see that they are really caring for things and replacing things like that when they need to, just to make sure that things really are staying up to date and modern. As well as that, around Tidal Wave, they've said that they're going to declutter the area so that you can notice the beauty of the area and you can see around the park better, which I think is great to see. It's something which I didn't actually think of until actually looking at what they've said. It does make sense because around that part of the park, you can't really embrace the views very much when they've got kiosks and everything sat around the edge of the ride's viewing area. It will really make it more of an area where people can stand and look at Tidal Wave without having their view obstructed by things. And I can't actually wait to see it in person because I really think it'll be one of those things which I didn't know I needed until it's happened and I'm going to love it when I actually get to see it in person and be able to properly admire Tidal Wave in all its glory especially with that new bridge which I'm hoping will have theming added to it as well because they did say about they want to add to the theming we might be seeing a themed bridge here but nothing's announced that's just me doing my usual thing of getting over excited so do bear that in mind and as well as that they've announced that they'll be revamping a lot of the toilets around the park which I know sounds like really boring information but when you consider that the toilet for the park are a very important thing and everyone needs to use them. It's good that they're keeping them up to date and changing things within them. I'm sure a lot of people remember the toilets within the dome were changed a few seasons back to make them more modern and it's much nicer than they used to be. Before the revamp they were getting a little bit outdated and not the nicest to go in. Now at least they're more modern and I'm hoping around the park it will make it a nicer experience because the ones underneath the dome before they were refurbed weren't the nicest to go in. So I'm hoping they all mean that really keeping things new and clean and more modern. Now now on to more exciting news than toilets. I'm sure a lot of you were really hyped for the toilets, but something that was more exciting, which everyone sort of knows about, is Big Easy Boulevard, which is a retheme of the Angry Birds Land in the park to a New Orleans town celebrating the 4th of July, which, wow, it looks incredible, which is a retheme to a New Orleans town with Detonator being themed to the 4th of July and fireworks, with the theater having a new movie put in it and rethemed. The Dodgems look incredible. So it's great to see that it will, again, mean one of the weaker areas which is always Angry Birds has been a little bit weak for the park it's just going to look incredible and I cannot wait to see that area because I think it will fit into Amity a lot better than Angry Birds did and as well as that last but certainly not least we will see the opening of the UK's tallest roller coaster standing at 236 feet high reaching speeds of over 80 miles an hour with some inversions which just look insane we will all be able to ride Hyperia when it opens this year in 2024 that feels weird to say that it's opening this year. Excitement is getting through the roof at this point. I don't want to overhype myself for this ride. I'm sure that we can all agree this is going to be one of the biggest ride openings we are going to see in the UK this year and it is great to see that it's happening at Thorpe Park alongside these other changes. And that is essentially what this video is for. Now I'm very aware that these changes can be perceived in any way and me saying that this is a new era for the park is a personal thing and it's a, an opinion at the end of the day. And yeah that's essentially why I made this video. I'd love to know what you think on this matter because it was more a fact of I've seen all these changes being made and seen people and heard people talking about it and watched several videos and just thought I'd love to make a video and see what other people think because I am so excited to see the future of this resort and it really looks like they are wanting to redevelop this entire park more than ever and I just wanted to see what you all thought really. So then thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video please do like and subscribe. It really does make the world of difference and really does help this channel out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.